and this video we're going to have a look on how we can create amazing white background portraits just using an iPhone. It's going to be extremely simple and you're going to be surprised by that, especially when I show you a few tips and tricks during the editing process at the end of the video. So let me tell you first a few things that we need in order to create this white background portrait and the first thing that I'm going to use is this. This is a collapsible and basically it's just a backdrop that becomes quite big. Watch. All right. So this, as you can see, is absolutely huge and is black on one side and is white on the other side. Now, this is quite cheap. I bought it on eBay for, I think, 10 or 15 bucks or something like that. But in case you don't want to buy a collapsible, you can use also a white plain wall. I don't have a white plain wall in my apartment right now, so I'm just going to use this. Because the concept is that we need to make the backdrop, which is going to be the white part, as bright as possible. And to do so, I'm actually going to use a backlight, which is going to be this one. This is a Nanlet FS60B and can go to tungsten color, let's say very yellow, to also very white. And obviously we're going to use very white to try to illuminate the backdrop that is going to be just behind us. Now, if you don't have something like this, this is a professional light, even though it's very cheap, it's the cheapest option that Nanlet has and it's amazing, will make a huge difference in your photos but in case you don't have something like this you can use any kind of lamp or any sort of light source to then point it towards the background and make it as white as possible then obviously we'll need a key light even in this case i'm using a forza 150 you can use a forza 60 you can use any kind of light that you want but we need to have something that illuminates our face as well then obviously we just need your phone you can do the same exact thing with the camera but in this video i'm going to show you how to do with this one which is pretty cool all right now let's set up the room All right, and this is the setup. I have my key light that is illuminating my face here. Then I have my backlight just because I want to make uh, the background as bright as possible. So it's pointing directly and you might see that here is burned because this light is quite strong. But if you don't have anything like this, then you can use any other sort of light. It is really important that we have a lot of light though in the background. So use as many as you can. Same thing for the key light. You can use a tube light. You can use anything that you want and it will work as well. Now, for the iPhone, I'm using an iPhone 14 Pro and we're going to use a three pair camera. So that's like a tele lens. And if you're using the camera as well, it's better to use a tele lens, let's say a zoomed in lens so that you can have just the background without having to care about what's uh, outside in case you're using a collapsible that is pretty small like I'm doing right now. Now with the iPhone 14, we have also the possibility to shoot directly in RAW so that we have more space, uh, more versatility in post-production. In case you don't have an iPhone 14 or 13 that has the RAW version, then you may want to use Lightroom Mobile and activate the DNG mode. This will allow you to have a RAW mode as well, even if you have a lower end phone. So what we do right now is that we're just going to use the three pair camera and then we're going to try to not have anything else but the white background that we have here in the collapsible and then we're going to snap a few photos. And once you're happy with the photos that you've got, the next step is just to give it a quick edit. So let's have a look on how we can do it. So to edit this white background photos is going to be pretty simple and we have three options. Either we use Lightroom Mobile, which is my favorite app and the one you should use too, or you can use Snapseed, which is a free Google app that is unlimited. You can download for Android, for iPhone, same as Lightroom Mobile, it's just a little bit different. But I'm going to show you how to use them both. So the first one that we're going to use is Lightroom Mobile. Now remember again, in case you don't have a raw version directly from your camera, if you have like, for example, an older iPhone or an Android that doesn't shoot raw, then you can shoot raw DNG files on Lightroom Mobile in the built-in camera app. So we're just gonna import the photo that we want from camera roll. I already selected the one that I liked, so we're gonna go into favorite, and then we're gonna pick a photo with a white background. And now Lightroom has imported the photo that is a bit too dark, so what we're gonna do is very simple. We're gonna go into light, and we're gonna drag up the exposure until everything else becomes white. And that's basically the final result that we got. Super simple and super good. Now, in case there are some angles that are not very bright white like in this case what you can do is that you can go into masking and then you add a brush and then you're gonna brush into this area and then you're gonna 
going light and then drag up the exposure basically and everything else will become bright white if you don't like the cropping you can obviously crop as much as you like to have the perfect composition and there you go you got the final photo now one more thing that i like to use with this white background is actually transforming it into black and white and to do this we just need to go into color and then we're going to remove the saturation then if you want to make it more punchy you can add a bit of contrast play around with highlights shadows and so on and so forth in case you want to learn how to edit i have full courses on mobile photography and also lightroom from beginner to expert on skillshare you can access it for free for 30 days now the second app that i want to show you is actually snapseed you can do very similar things so we're just going to open from device and then we go into albums favorites and we're going to pick the white background photo that we want even in this case it imported a photo that is very dark so we're just going to go into exposure and then we're going to drag towards the right to make everything else look very white so we're going to click ok and then we're going to go into tools crop and then adjust the cropping based on the composition that we want like so we're going to click ok then in case there is a corner like in this one the bottom left corner is a bit gray still we're going to go into tools we're going to go into brush then we're going to select the exposure brush and then we're going to brush on the left side of the photo the bottom one and then we're good in case we can increase the exposure by clicking on these arrows and there you go we got a completely white background photo once again if you want to remove saturation you're just going to go into tune image then you can scroll down until you go into saturation drag towards the left and there you go you've got a white background photo and you know i do it well when i come through. and this was pretty simple but the result so I think is very dramatic. In case you want to know more about lighting tips to make even better photos, you can check out this video where I talk about five tips that will actually make a difference in your photos. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click that like button. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao. Take off your gear, take off your piece. If you hold back, that's